by saying a very big thank you to President Muhammadu Buhari, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for finding FCT worthy. Having been the second uh, uh, highest number the COVID-19 cases being hit with this uh, pandemic, it, we also qualify as one of the three states to receive this um, uh, gesture. Indeed, it's a very big one, and we say thank you, we appreciate. And um, we have received so far five trucks of rice and uh, five trucks again on the way, as we are made to understand, and all will be made transparently. There are trucks of uh, other things, and there are trucks of uh, vegetable oil and uh, uh, tomato paste. So now it will be distributed, the same organogram we are using, to distribute the palliative for the federal capital territory as a composition of about 600,000 bags, 100,000 bags per area council. The same organogram is what we are going to use. So this goes a long way, Mr. President has spoken widely. Silence is golden, but this silence is most good. We welcome him because this tells us that we should stay at home, that everything will get to us. There is transparency in the distribution, just like we are witnessing right now, the same will continue. It is a community-based program. They own this program, they are doing the counting, they are doing the loading, they are participating. I am not loaded. The essence of this is for them to own their program. The Federal Capital Territory has taken up the responsibility of making it available. The federal government also took up the responsibility of making it available. It is supposed to be one daily, one area council per day. But as you can see, since we started, the loading yesterday, especially due to the manpower you know, that turned out and their uh, eligibility, the energy to work actually differs. You can see the team from the area council uh, uh, we brought in yesterday weren't able to work overnight. So we used two days, the third day before we loaded today. So you can see this has brought a kind of delay into the program and that's the, 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 the gap we witnessed. But all things being equal, if we go as it is concluded, as it is planned, then even by Monday we should be done. And if we are done again, we still have this result from the federal government. Also in the bank of the federal capital territory, we still have enough to go on. Counting by the number of the days for the lockdown. If we do understand the reason for the lockdown, it's not a lockdown because we want to call number of days. But it's a lockdown. We are hopefully thinking that the numbers will drop. So it is left for the federal government to make a decision. But we know that it is in the best of our interest. Stay safe, please. Stay home. Thank you.